Hello everyone, welcome to another Fingster tutorial. In this tutorial, let us learn how to fix the type error unhashable type numpy.ndarray. Let's say we have a two dimensional array and uh, it has just one row and uh, one row has four columns in it. One, two, three, four. Now uh, let's try printing this array. So we see that an array is being printed. Let's say we want to convert it to a set for some reason. And uh, when we try converting this uh, two dimensional array to a set, we see an error. The error says type error unhashable type numpy.indy array. So, why does this happen? Firstly, let's try to understand what hashable is. So, they are telling that uh, numpy.indy array is unhashable. So, let's try to understand what hashable is. So, basically, in uh, Python, we say an object is hashable if it has the same value retained till the end of its life. For example, the int values, the float values, they'll have the same values till the end of the program. So, that is till the end of their life. That means that these values are hashable. Certain Python objects like uh, dictionary keys or uh, sets, and lists or byte arrays. These kind of objects keep changing. That is, uh, you can add some value to it or uh, you can remove some elements from it. Thus, it keeps changing and uh, their value is not the same till the end of their life. So, such uh, objects are called as unhashable objects. So, programmatically, how do you determine uh, if an object is hashable or not? That is with the use of the hash function. Let's take a quick example. So, I'll say hash of uh, a string finster. Let's see for let's see what this returns. So, I'll just say print. You can see that some huge integer value is returned. Now, if I use a list instead. Let's see what happens. I'll give one, two, three, and uh, this is a list here. And uh, when we try to run this, we see that there is an error. It says unhashable type list. Now, if I give an ND array, for example, uh, here, I'll just try. To get the hash value of this array when this happens again i see the error unhashable type numpy.nd array now you see that something is relatable but what happens internally is when you call the set function uh, it is required that all the elements within the set must be hashable so it calls it internally calls the hash function to check if the element that you're trying to add to the set is hashable or not if it sees that it is not hashable then or if it is unhashable it throws this error in case it is hashable then it is added to the set for example let's try creating a 1d array like this and then let's try converting it to a set now actually you can see that this is converted to a set now we don't see an error here that's because it sees the first element which is one looks like an integer then it tries hash it does hash of one see hash of one returns a value which means that it is hashable. That's why no error is thrown. Now it checks the second element, which is 2. It tries performing hash of 2. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, an integer is returned, which means it is hashable and it simply converts, uh, it adds it to the set without throwing any error. Similarly, it checks for third and the fourth element. Since all the elements are hashable here, they can be added to the set and no error is thrown. Now that we have seen what is causing the issue, let's learn how to fix it. Consider a two-dimensional array like this. 
So this array has one row and it has four columns. Now, uh, when you call set of R, you're trying to convert the element within this array to a set. So you're trying to convert this ND array object, which is more or less like a uh, 1D array. You know? So you're trying to convert this object uh, to a set element. However, the set elements have to be hashable. Because this ND array object is not hashable, you're seeing the error. So how do you fix it? You fix it by accessing the right element. So when you say R off, set of R off, you're telling, uh, you're calling this particular array and then you're telling convert the elements within this array. So the element within this array is again a one dimensional array sort of uh, ND array object. So you have to tell them to use, you have to tell the set function to convert or to consider these elements. So instead of R, you have to index it rightly as R of zero. Now when you run this program, it runs successfully without showing any error. Consider another case. Let's say we have an array like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. So basically it is a two-dimensional array which has uh, one element in one row, sec one more like one element in each of the rows. There are four rows and there are one, one element each in all the rows. So uh, there is a dictionary that you've created and uh, you want to add uh, you want to create a dictionary which should hold the value something like one colon value and you're trying to run this code. Now what happens when you run this code? You see an error here. Why do you see an error here? That's because when you say R of zero, you're trying to access this element. So one here is a list. Uh, let's see this. I'll just comment this off and uh, let's see what happens when I print a of 0, uh, sorry, r of 0. When I run this, it returns a nd array object here. So, when you try to add an nd array object which is not hashable as a dictionary key, you're seeing this error. So what do we do to fix it? We have to access the right element. That is, we need one, right? So we can access it using 0, 0. Let's see what happens when we print it. Yes, we see the integer one in this case. Now we can add this here with another zero here. This way we are properly accessing the element. When we run the code, we don't see an error. So this is how to fix this case. Let's take an example of another case. We have an array here, which is a one dimensional array and we are creating a set here. Now, when we try to add an element, which is this array to the set, we see an error. Why does this happen? This happens because we are trying to add an ND array element. Right? We are not trying to add single element within the array, but we are trying to add an entire array to a set. But this array that we are speaking about, which is an ND array object, is not hashable. Hence, we are seeing the error. So, how do we fix this error? We can fix this error by accessing single element of the array. So maybe you can have a for loop, something like for element in array, you try to add a single element that is set dot add of um, element. Now let's try what happens when we run this. Description for set element. Okay. Descriptor add for set object doesn't apply to, okay, I'm sorry, this is not set here. It is a dot add. Now, when we run this, we do not see any error. That's because the elements are hashable and uh, we do, the interpreter doesn't have any problem when you're trying to add hashable objects to a set. I hope this video has been informative.